the ceiling unlimited season 4 episode 13 the final episode let's watch the episode 65 years from now that's probably batman's uh, robin look at how skilled he is Is that Amanda Waller too? Put and sit a spell. I've got some questions I need you to answer. Of course you do, boy. Why else go to all the trouble of breaking into the lair of the great and powerful Amanda Waller? Yes, it is Amanda Waller. I do. Full of antioxidants, this stuff. It's supposed to make you live longer. I don't want tea. I want answers. Then you're going to have to humor me. It's been many a year since I had a handsome gentleman caller. Why is it that superheroes are always so good looking? Drink up. I don't want any tea. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. What's this all about? Your safety. You know how much I So this episode you are gonna dive into the past. Well, epilogue and in the future. There's no present. Yeah. If the bad guys ever found out I was Batman, they'd try to get to me by hurting you. Blah, blah, blah. It's nothing to joke about. You're right. There could be supervillains hiding in the tall grass. I'm poisoned, Dana. Cursed. You're silly, McGinnis. It's not silly for me to want to keep you safe. Ah, like water. Very good. What is happening? Please somebody tell me. I was 16 years old when you started training me, Bruce. A punk kid with a smart mouth and potential I didn't even suspect. Yeah, you were older than he, you know. Robin, the recent Robin, he was he's way too young. Me. I couldn't give to anyone. Tell me something I don't know. My dad wasn't a superhero. He didn't save the world from the near apocalypse of 09. He... The Justice League found themselves cleaning up one of my old messes. The second group of villains to call themselves the Royal Flush Gang, or the third who can keep it all straight. Royal Flush Gang. Yeah, it's a weapon. I never saw that coming. The one guy in the chair reminds me of uh, who's this guy in, in I don't know the was Wonder Man. Yeah, forgot his name, but yeah, Modok. He reminds me of Modok. That's where I came. Waller should have recognized your hand in this. No time for the usual pleasantries. Before you go after Ace, you need to know what you're getting. Do you understand what you're agreeing to? The only way to stop Ace for certain. Is to kill her. But Batman does not kill, so yeah, I'm wondering how it's gonna win this one.
yet as you know the moment I saw it, I just kind of flesh gang. remember. You can't say that I did. Yeah. yeah. They aren't any fun at all. I gave them their powers and they still hardly ever play with me. Can't imagine why. When I was little, Cadmus used to make me play all kinds of games, but they weren't any fun either. They'd strap me into their machines and poke wires into my So emotional. sat with her until her time came. That's the Bruce Wayne I came to know over the years. So you think he showed mercy? Maybe. But more likely it somehow already deduced that Ace wasn't really gonna hurt anyone. He always was two steps ahead of everybody. Yeah, that's the thing that we love about Batman. Oh, well, it isn't. Think about it. Bruce wanted a successor. Another Batman. He planned it all from the beginning. I never had a chance. Honey, Bruce didn't overwrite your DNA with his. I did. How? Why? Because the world needs a Batman. I decided to make a new one. I used my old Cadmus connections to gather the technology necessary for Project Batman Beyond. Yep, Batman Beyond. Bruce's DNA was easy enough to obtain. He left it all over town. Not remotely what I meant. Then I found a young Neo-Gotham couple with psychological profiles nearly identical to those of Bruce's parents. Their father thought he was getting a flu shot. But he'd never resort to murder. So if I was to honor all he stood for, neither could I. And yet my dad wound up murdered. Anyway, don't you get it? No matter what you did or didn't do, I was going to end up being Bruce's carbon copy. It was fate. Yeah, this one is just to pay attention. That's why I haven't been talking too much because Try not to look it's kind of important to know Batman is, you know, sort of successor. After 65 years. I'd like to believe that for all the harm I've caused, I've also done some good. Maybe the angels need a sharp sword too. Like the good book says, he moves in mysterious ways. His plan is a mystery, but here's what isn't. He gave a man as Bruce Wayne, except maybe you. You want to have a little better life than the old man's? Take care of the people who love you. Or don't. It's your choice. It's weird that Amanda Waller is actually a good person in this one. Telling advice, good advice and all that. She's always on the grey area, mostly the bad guy, but I really like it in this episode, you know. Hello. Hi. Terry? What time is it? It's just after three. Oh, baby, I have to be up at five. What's wrong? I just wanted to know if we were still on for this weekend. Yeah? Why? Something come up again? No. I just want to ask you something. So ask. No. Not until I see you. Okay. So, Friday night? <sighs> Fine. Good She's night. gonna die, right? Love you. I hope not, but... Yeah. You're in my chair. Yeah. Guess I am. Where the devil have you been? I had some stuff to take care of. Enigma's overrated. Especially at 3 a.m. You could have called. I made you some soup, but it's cold. Sorry. Didn't mean to worry you. <laughs> I was worried about Gotham. If Batman's not around. I've got it covered. Always. Kent called. Nothing apocalyptic. He just wants your opinion on a case he's working. Said you could meet him at the Metro Tower. So, which Kent? You know, you should eat something. 
I don't think it's color candy, but it'll be Jonathan Kent. Stubborn piece of work, you know that. Just like my old man. Did you see that? So this Batman can fly. To list you know can fly. This episode is literally the opposite of what I was expecting it to be. The last season, I think it was from season two to season three. So see, was this season three to season four? I'm not so sure, but I think it's season three to four. We we had an episode that was, you know, I think it's season two to three, yeah. But when we had an episode that was setting, you know, sort of setting up the next season is premiere. And I thought this was gonna be the same, you know, they're gonna do a two part, but instead of you know continuing in the same season, it's gonna be like going in the next season, which will be season five in this case. But you know, this one was sort of what happens in the next 65 years when these uh, Justice League members are getting are older, you know, they no longer be able to be the Justice League who used to used who used what they used to be. And this story will just why the focus is more on Batman, special Batman. And how you know what really happens to him after his 65 years. So we do see that you know, uh, all of the Robins left. They don't say they that died or they did. You know, they just say they left because of Bruce and all that. And that, well, no, the reasons I don't know why, but they say it's because of Bruce. And you know, there was this new guy. Yeah, well, my mom Amanda Waller had to do something to make sure that you know he sort of like Batman, but obviously not exactly. It's not his son. It's just the genetics are kind of the same because of the DNA test that you know he did and all that you know he, 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 all because of Amanda Waller and this time she wasn't actually wrong about the, everything she did to be honest I kind of understand why she did it and I'm in support of it and I think I'll say yes but it's a it's grey area but I do like that this one does focus more that and yeah it's Batman Beyond I know Batman Beyond and yeah, I understand why people would love to see a movie about Batman Beyond. And you know, we kind of we almost did that, you know, before James Gunn came in to try to read to you know, not try but it's going to reboot everything. Uh we have, we're going to get a Michael Keaton movie which he, it will be like Batman Beyond. And yeah, no, we're going to get that. So I understand why you know people love this one. And uh, to be honest, when people say Batman Beyond, Batman Beyond, I don't really read comics. But I do know a lot of things about comics because you know social media and all that. But I don't really understand what Batman Beyond is. Is it an older Batman or a Batman who's mentoring a new Batman? And in this case, this episode kind of suggests that it's just a Batman mentoring someone else, you know, who is not exactly Robin, but someone different. And in this case, if this is the truth, I'm really, I'm really on the path of like, we really need to get a move about Batman Beyond because it's so different, you know. It is connected to Batman, you know, Bruce Wayne exactly, but it's not really like somebody like Robin or, or, or the Robins, you know, Nightwing or anything like that. It's actually somebody else, you know, they just have the same genetics, but that's a, that's just it, you know. Different parents in men, the parents are not dead or anything like that. You know, he, he, he kind of, he kind of has a perfect life, but still, he does have some genetics of Batman and, you know, they want him to be the Batman, so... I really want to see a move about that and it will, I think it will be cool to see that kind of move but I don't think we're gonna get it until like 20 years from now because when well, James Gunn has a new plan and he has kind of reviewed the first part you know chapter one and there's nothing like Batman Beyond on that list and I don't think we're gonna get a Batman Beyond until like 15 or 20 years from now so yeah you know if you are older like in your 70s or 80s mm, there's a slim chance that you're gonna watch that movie so yeah it's, 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 everything comes at a cost, you know. Everything comes at a cost. So yeah, I guess we can have to enjoy some Batman, Brave and Bold, the new Superman. That's what we have to enjoy right now. And yeah, I think this is the final episode of season four. So I don't think it's different from what I was expecting, but I do actually like it. You know, the the sort of giant, giant Justice League final. We kind of hit that in the. Last episode, just episode 12, I think that really ended the story that we're setting 
up from season 3 to season 4 you know all those stories were ended in that episode and this one is not like preparing for the next episode but it is actually telling us what happens later in the end i really love that i really do love that and when we will start watching season 5 it's gonna be fresh new just you know bring new uh there's nothing like from the past that we will have to remember or we have to remember it but it's not like continuous you know we just start on wait needs to be starting so yeah i really do like that so yeah this is my review of season yeah season 4 episode 18 a great great episode and overall i think this season so far is one of it's actually my favorite after all the seasons i've watched from season 1 to season 4 season 3 is really very close but I think this one is my favorite. It just it did so many things that were continuous. It still have some standalone episodes, so that's what stands out for me. This is this was a great season, and I hope it continues into the next season. So guys, if you like my reaction, make sure that you do leave a like, subscribe, make sure that you do tune in in the next season. And with that being said, stay safe. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.